Hi, and welcome back to War Thunder Tutorials. Bah, I'm kidding, you're now watching your favorite show, Some Poor Advice, Part 2. The mighty military science is paving our way forward. Our fearless players come up with new and amazing tactical solutions, impressing all with their imagination and resolve. They hone their legendary skills to share them with us. Perhaps some of these ideas might look rather radical or ridiculous, maybe some of you might even call them dumb, but this is all because you're just envious. You know what they say, he is lifeless, that is faultless. The so-called air events were introduced by the developers purely out of balance concerns. As soon as some player is starting to win hard, he is immediately presented with an option to go flying, like this. Hey bro, why don't you chill a little? You know, fly this plane so the enemy on the ground can win back some of the ground they lost thanks to you. Because we all know the planes are as useful in combat as a rock in a firefight. So even if you feel compelled to spit on an enemy tiger from above, don't fall prey to this temptation. Leave the flying to the careless flyboys. If you somehow ended up flying anyway, maybe because you pressed 7 by accident, or because you hit your spacebar in a fit of fury, now try and pretend that nothing happened. You don't want to demoralize your team, so before taking it to the skies, park your tank somewhere where it's gonna be wide open and visible, like on a hill or in the middle of a field. It does not matter where, as long as your tank is clearly showing. If it works, then your friends will not even notice that you were away from your tank. Oh yeah, that position that you assumed earlier is strategically beneficial, by the way. The turret of your tank can rotate 360 degrees and such open and elevated position literally guarantees your tank maximum effective field of fire. Now, you can strike at the enemy in all directions. That's why cover is overrated. What if there's a rock or a hill in your way? Well, you can still aim your gun that way, but for what purpose? A good position is hard to overestimate. Do not ever put yourself behind an allied tank, because you might scrape his paint while firing by accident, of course, and then you will have to pay for his repairs. Better yet, always get in front of the said ally. However you choose to position your tank once you're ahead matters not, because if something goes wrong, you will take the blame. Because you know, you're not violating any rules, I mean, it's his problem he didn't watch this awesome show. You might be surprised, but it actually matters where to shoot at. You can spend hours upon hours studying vehicles of different nations, memorizing every vulnerability, but this is for the noobs that do not understand the essence of a tank. Any tank is made up of two main parts, a turret and a hull. Each of these parts is extremely hard to damage because they're protected by many inches of steel. But if you fire an APCR at the ring between the turret and the hull, the sharp nosed projectile will rip the turret off the tank. Yeah, just like that. Don't thank me. Now tell me, have you ever shot down an aircraft with your tank cannon? This seems hardly possible, but we don't back down easily, do we? A good eye, some patience, and a measure of practice, and you can make it happen. For every aircraft you manage to shoot down, you will be presented with the Medal of Awesome. The Medal of Ultra Awesome can be achieved by killing a mouse with nothing but a machine gun. Very few have succeeded so far. Should you see your ally capturing a point, be polite every once in a while. Don't take away all his glory by helping him cap that point. It's not like he's asking for your help, right? So it probably means he can handle that. Better yet, find your own capture point, preferably one with a bunch of enemies sitting on top of it. Just kill them all and earn some of your own points, instead of sharing in someone else's glory. Now, let's talk artillery. The sheer variety of its application in combat is staggering and goes beyond any mundane purpose of simply killing your enemies. Real pro players often use fire missions for cover, creating a veritable fog of war in front of them. The thick smoke screen will cover you and your allies from the prying eyes of your foes. Always remember that death by a mass artillery strike or a bomb is a mere chance occurrence. Some are just destined to die young, while others will meet their maker in their beds. 
It makes me laugh when I see how tankers try and get away from an incoming bomb or take cover from an artillery shelling. You can't escape your fate. Don't blame yourself if you accidentally hit your own with a bomb or a fire mission. You are there to kill the enemy. Let the gods sort him out. Sometimes your chosen tank just does not perform. It may drive like a handcart, shoot like a BB gun and etc. In this case, don't torture yourself or your team. Press and hold J at once. Even if the ensuing explosion of your ammo rack somehow kills three of your teammates, remember our previous advice. It is all dumb luck and there is no one to blame. Usually, you can tell if the match is going your way or not throughout the first few minutes of a game. Sometimes your team just sucks. Their tank sucks, the map sucks, the BR balance sucks, and so many other things can suck individually or together. You, as a real pro, will sense these problems with your intuition. Why waste time for a battle already lost? Don't sweat it, just exit back to your hangar, take a few deep breaths and patiently wait for the next match. Sooner or later you will get lucky. Well, that's it for today's poor advice. Follow them closely and you will be always in the top and a real MVP to any team. See ya! Boop, 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 boop.